Okay, just as a quick introduction, part of this networking learning project was to learn a new skill. And one of the new skills that I wanted to um, do was I wanted to make my uh, flipped classroom a little bit more efficient. So what I did before was I have my hosted site on Weebly and students would come here, they would watch the video here, and then they would go and take the post assessment. Now what I would see from the back end is something that looked like this. Every single new submission in Google Forms comes into a spreadsheet. Now, I did have a script called Flubberoo, but in order to use Flubberoo, Flubberoo is a script that automatically grades uh, Google Forms by putting in an answer key. So you'll see my answer key in the purple. Now, the problem was that in order to use Flubberoo, I had to go into this spreadsheet every day or twice a day sometimes and say regrade assignment. I had to go through all of these prompts here. I had to authorize it. I had to go through all of these prompts saying what I need to do and I had to retype the answer key. It was a pain. So I wanted to make things easier for myself. Now I wanted something that would give me this nice spreadsheet in the end. This is what Flubberoo does. So at the end I do get a percentage. It tells me how many points the student got, how many times they submitted it, all that stuff. Now I can email their grade through here, but once again I would have to say Flubberoo and then email grades if I wanted that to happen. So every time a student would put in a new assignment, that would be another time I have to go in and retest it. So what I figured out was a new script called Formule. Okay, so what it does, here's my little test and we can view it live, the live form here. Now I do want to show you live what happens here and then I'll kind of explain the background knowledge of what's going on. Now the problem was when students submitted this, they would see this and they would not know their grade until they came in the next day when I had printed it out. Now what this does, you can see the form just came in. Now you can see really, really quickly, almost instantaneously, it has already graded my quiz, okay? Now what you see in gray here is what Google Forms makes. So that automatically gets put in when you do a Google Form. And then I put in this kind of extra stuff over here. That's part of the formula script. I did not have to click on formula and say grade assignment. It did it automatically. So I got an 80% because I missed one of the questions that you'll see here. Now if I check in my email, here it says post assessment quiz results for Lindsay. So it says, congratulations, you've received a passing score on your post assessment quiz. You will receive 100% on your homework grade for this section. And then it tells you how many questions correct out of the total questions you got in your percentage. Now, the reason why I did this was because I wanted to make it so that my students had to receive a specific grade in order to receive credit. Last year, when I had students watch the videos, it was either credit or no credit. If you watched it, even if you got a 10% on the video you still got credit and I kind of thought that, that took away some of the students responsibility so this way not only will the students get immediate feedback but they will also know right away their score so if they get a 20 or 30 or 50 percent uh, they know that they have to receive a higher grade than an 80 percent so an 80 or higher gives them 100 percent here this was a really really easy way to correct my solution. So my biggest resource to figure this out uh, was actually YouTube. I did go to a couple of forums, uh, Google Help forums, things like that, and I didn't I didn't get the responses that I wanted or people, maybe it was an older forum because Formula is kind of an older script and I wasn't really finding what I needed. So YouTube, I found this great uh, tutorial here and I found a bunch of different tutorials, but this one I thought explained it um, the best. It really went in depth, it was 14 minutes long, showed me exactly what I had to do. Basically in a nutshell, what happened was I had to add some columns here. So each of these questions I had, had to enter in. Um, a little bit of calculations in order to figure out the percentage. And then this message is based on uh, the score. So if it was 80% or above, it'll say congratulations. If it was below 80%, it would say you need to retake it. Um, so once I did this first row here and had all the formulas, I didn't have to do anything more. So once this first row was set up, the whole entire spreadsheet was set up. The only other thing that I had to do was kind of make some uh, mess with some advanced options and things like that. And if you do want to find more information about that, I will have this uh, video posted on the blog as well. So if you'd like to know how to do that for your own classroom, you can definitely check that out. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you find it useful.